All right, thanks, Justin. And the state fair is back open today. Business as usual, but security a top priority following what police are calling an isolated incident at the fairgrounds last night. News 9's Cameron Joyner talked to fairgoers about how they felt heading through the gates. It's been only one day since shots were fired at the Oklahoma State Fair, leaving one person in critical condition. But fairgoers don't seem discouraged from the last day of the fair, a steady stream of people as soon as the gates opened. Throw her over here, please. We plan to be open business as usual. I can get people down this side. With the same safety protocols in place. Fairgoers got the green light after police identified Saturday's shooter as an isolated incident, not an active shooter situation. It's kind of like it's one of those one-off things unfortunately that's going on in today's society and I just don't think that everyone is unsafe just because that one incident happens. Regular fair attendee Lisa Lacey came out to enjoy the last day of the fair. She says the circumstance is an unfortunate reality. We just had to kind of go you know what that happened it's happened everywhere you can't stop living your life and doing the things you do. Scott Munns with the Oklahoma State Fair announced their effort to prioritize security after Saturday's shooting. We'll just be on you know a little bit more diligent maybe but we do feel that we've got a lot of safety protocols in place Here back, please. Sure. because safety and security is priority number one. How the weapon got onto the fairgrounds Thank is you. still under investigation. So we have scanners at the gate. We don't know where the breach was, but there are scanners at the gate. We have turned away weapons, so we know they work. Lisa hopes this is a wake up call. And hopefully now, you know, people will be just be more aware. Of it. As the fair comes to a close and the investigation continues. On top of security measures at the gates, a curfew for unaccompanied minors was issued for the last day of the fair. More information is available on our website. At the Oklahoma State Fairgrounds, I'm Cameron Joyner, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.